Now, I'll end by saying this. On May 31st, 2008, God caught me up into the heavens at Liberty Park and into the future. Showed me into a new administration. Therefore, I knew it was more of a 12-year period. That is now. He first of all showed me my bloodline, how it had come in, and I knew a lot of the history of my bloodline, from royalty in France to Luxembourg settled and coming in that way, Huguenots, and coming that way, the Pierces rebelling, coming from uh, uh, Ireland, and then marrying our, the native people. And... He showed me first where the glory entered that bloodline, and then he showed me where iniquity had entered that bloodline, and because I was... See, we're a prophetic people. God's not in time. We're in time. But if you really move with him, he can catch you out of time also. That's what makes us prophetic. That's why you can be sick here and see yourself healed here. And prophesy it. You can see one form here and call it into another form here. See? And that's what I said when I left Georgia. I said, the enemy's tried to knock me down, but I will be standing. Because I can look at this leg and say, line it up. And so, in the midst of this... The next thing he showed me was every state of the nation. He sh- and I've shared this some in California, but he showed me a move of God in every state that was coming. Look at somebody and say, that new move is here. It, he called it a triumphant reserve. It looked like glory, a glory river in every state. And then they would connect with these places. Look at somebody and say, we are here. And I know now these were the apostolic centers of the future. They're not mega churches. They're glory hubs that not only go up into the heavens, but they go down into the earth because that's what the tabernacle of David does. It heals the earth while we're going up and ascending into worship. So God started showing me. Not every state had those. Every state had thrones of iniquity. And then he showed me 21 states in covenant in America. Then he showed me eventually 153 nations that would be in covenant. I went back and recorded it. I mean, it was overwhelming. It was four hours. I was supposed to be speaking and I was no good that night. I was gone. Two states were hanging in the balance. One was Florida. And most people think there's no hope for California. There is hope for California. The other was California. Now, remember, we're 12 years ahead into a new administration. That makes it 2020. So that brings us now to a moment. This is what California looked like from heaven. It was... It had an incredible covering on it, and it sort of had an aura around it. But then, go ahead, Aaron. It had an evil root, and it had a glory root. From heaven, you could see the contending that was going on and how the evil root wanted to overpower the glory root of this state. Now, a lot of people, when I first shared this, 
They said, California can't have a glory route. You have had moves of God that have changed the course of all of the world. That's crazy. That's just ignorance and judgment. You've had a zoo. Uh, I'm, from, I'm a Houston boy. You've had uh, Seymour came to Houston. They rejected him. He came here. You received him. There's something about you that is so key for the future and the next move of God that I don't think we can shift a nation without you coming into what God is saying. But there is an evil root contending. Now, Florida, this year the Lord had me go there nine times. I I never do that. Because I knew they had to shift. I want to say to you, all up and down that state, a remnant has shifted A remnant is worshiping, and that's why you saw hurricanes coming toward them all of a sudden turn. Now, for this nation to come into its new dimension of being saved, California must shift. It is your time. It is key for a nation. And there, and I'll go over a lot of this tomorrow, how I see us moving. But the glory of God is ready to triumph in California. Uh, the root of evil needs to wither in California. And this is what makes this decade so important, Vicki Norton, is how will the voice rule the future of not only this state, but a whole nation ahead? Will the voice of God And sound is linked with voice. Will Judah arise all up and down California? Will the west wind begin to blow a new movement in California? Will the glory of God rise up, but will the voice of the glory of God be heard in California? This next season. Now I want you to look at someone next to you and say, let his voice come forth. Now as Dutch is coming, I want to say this. There's two key scriptures this year. One from Job, you will decree a thing and it will be established. Another one is from Isaiah 54, uh, 45, verse 11. Command me, saith the Lord, Israel, the God of Israel. Command me concerning your sons and daughters and cause my hand to work. God is giving us great authority to change the course of this land. California is still hanging in the balance, hung between two opinions. And I say there is a remnant in California being filled with God's glory that's rising up. And you will not only be heard, now this is the first time I've said this, but you will create a performance of the Word of God throughout Not only this state, but this entire nation. 